Mayor Adams says blame widely shared over political tensions. Democratic Mayor Eric Adams declined on Tuesday to hold former president and current Republican president nominee Donald Trump specifically responsible for shaping the politically volatile environment amid which a gunman tried to assassinate the ex commander in chief over the weekend. Instead, his during his weekly news conference said everyone has played some role in shaping the intense political division currently gripping the country as Trump vies to win back the White House from Democratic from Democratic President Joe Biden. Mayor Adams made the remarks in response to a reporter's question about how much responsibility Trump personally bears for shaping an environment where a gunman tried to take his life. The reporter cited Trump saying in 2016 that he could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody without losing voters, urging his supporters to beat up critics at his rallies and making fun of former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's Democratic California husband after he was brutally attacked in 2022. But Adams demurred on singing, singling out Trump and instead suggested the blame for the hostile political atmosphere is widely shared. I think everyone has a role in the climate that we are in right now. Everyone, and that includes me, Adam said. We all need to check ourselves. And so to point to, you know, the former president or point to the current president, there's someone, there's some who are saying, okay, the Democrats did this. There's some who say the Republicans did this. There's some one, there's some who say, there's someone who said the media did this. Someone saying the schools did. The comments came days after the mayor held a news conference on Sunday with Reverend Al Sharpton and City Council Republican leader Joe Borelli, Staten Island, calling for cooling off the inflamed political tensions in the wake of the assassination attempt. The incident, which took place in Butler, Pennsylvania on Saturday left Trump shot in the air while killing one of his supporters and critically injuring two others. The suspected gunman, 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks, was killed by Trump's Secret Service detail after shooting at him from a rooftop close to the rally. While Crook's motives remain unclear, law enforcement is repeatedly investigating the attack as potential domestic terrorism. Reports needed that Crooks was also a registered Republican who previously donated to a progressive organization in 2021. Adams went on to urge people to be introspective, asking themselves what they have done to contribute to the current moment. Let's stop saying what others have done and let's start asking ourselves, what have we done, Adam said. And so I don't want to go into, did he create, it, did he create the atmosphere? I want to know what did I do? What am I doing? One of the primary culprits Adams observed is one of his most frequent, tar frequent targets, social media. He said platforms like X, 
the site formerly known as Twitter are the enemy. Social media has made people mean and nasty and they do harmful things from the corner of their living rooms and their homes. He said, we need to really look at what we do. You know, the meanness of what we become through these gadgets that have hijacked our lives. The mayor said he plans to author a letter that will call for tonight's down incendiary rhetoric to which he hopes other poets will sign. He also touted his own breaking bread and building bonds initiative, initiative which hosts a series of dinners aimed at building connections between New Yorkers from different backgrounds. That's all I have to say here.